So today was a really strange day, like I woke up around 5 uh, in the morning in Blenheim and I drove all the way to Nelson Lakes and my plan was to do the Angelus hut over there and a couple other huts in the area and I was f fully prepared to do like a 4 or 5 day hike but before that I went to the dog center, the visitor center and they told me that the conditions are not the best and there's a lot of snow at the top so it's not the best idea to do that hike right now so that was a bit disappointing, but since I don't have any crampons or ice axe or anything, I, I decided to just go back to Blenheim and leave Angelus Hut for now, maybe for later when the weather is nicer. So instead I drove from Blenheim to Kaikura, and that road between those two towns is the most, probably my favorite road in New Zealand. Like it's absolutely stunning and I'm going to show that right now. said probably one of my favorite roads in New Zealand like it's absolutely stunning and right now I'm in Kaikura and my plan is to uh, do Mount 5 tomorrow morning so it takes about five hours to get to the top and three hours to get down and there is a bit of snow at the top but it's not as bad as Angel's Hut and it's going to be a sunny day tomorrow so hopefully everything <laughs> will be all right but for now let me just show you the place where I will spend the night It. like this is kind of like the living room area there's a fire fireplace over there which is going to be important tonight because it's so cold right now in New Zealand there's a kitchen behind me and over here there is a, also a balcony and with a beautiful view of the mountains behind me I don't know how much you can actually see and Mount Fife is all the way over there and it's way too bright for you so you probably can't see anything but yeah, I had a long day so far, so I think it's time for some coffee. That's pretty much it from me for today. I'm going to have my coffee now and then I'm going to watch some movies and just relax. It's been a long day so far, so tomorrow morning we are going all the way to the top of Mount Five. Here we are, the next morning. It's around 9 a.m. right now and it's freezing outside. So today I'm doing the Mount Five, so I have to go all the way up here to the top. And it takes about five hours to get to the top, and, but I think I can do it in less, maybe three or four, because this time I'm not carrying a heavy backpack, it's really light. So it's going to be easier for me to hike to the top. And today is going to be a really long day because after this hike, which will take a couple of hours, I still have to go to Christchurch, which is like three hours away. So it's going to be another 11 or 12 hour day, but that's all right. So let's start with the hike. This is a lot steeper than I thought and it's only the beginning. Oh my god, that's bright. I think that I'm like halfway there. I'm not sure yet, but over there I can see Kaikura in a distance. I don't know if you can see it. So, and there's a lot of ice on the way, on the ground, so I think that I'm definitely getting closer. Look at this, so this is the reason why I love hiking so much, like 
even though it's cold and it's hard and all that, still the views are just amazing. And just, just look at that. Stunning. Sometimes when you're hiking it can get a bit boring when you're walking through the bush and there isn't that much to see. That's why I'm listening to an audiobook right now. So I'm hiking and I'm technically reading a book, so that's a double win. Yeah, so back to Harry Potter. Almost there. Right now I'm here next to the Mount Five Hut. I don't know if you can see behind me. There is currently no one there, so I'm basically the only one doing this hike today. And over here, wait one second. So I have one hour and a half left. But I think that I can do that in less than an hour because the summit is right over there. So there isn't that much left, so let's keep going. So that was Mount 5 Summit. I wasn't actually able to film anything on the summit because it's so cold and it's so windy up there. The protein bars I have with me are all frozen. My GoPro stopped working. It's, it's that cold. Hey, my face is all like, I can't even feel it anymore. Uh, yeah, that was an absolutely amazing hike. It took me about four hours from the car park to, to the summit. And it's really hard. So it's really steep and it's it's not easy, but the views are amazing. I mean, I was there for maybe like 10 minutes because it was, it was so cold I wasn't able to like stand there anymore. But during the summer when it's warmer and it's nicer weather, I would definitely spend more time at the summit. But this time, no, it's, it's just too much. Now I have around three hours to get back to the car park and then I'm on my way to Christchurch. So I will make it faster for you. So I didn't film anything on my way down from Mount 5 and there's a reason for that. Oh, give me a second. So, sorry I have too many bags. So as I was walking down from Mount 5 I met a really old friend. I mean really old friend, like I met him last beginning of the last year in New Zealand. A German guy called Finn. And he's the last person I was expecting to see, especially there. So I was going down from the mountain, he was going up and then we talked for a while like about the trips we did and the stuff that we did the last year and then he decided to just join me and walk back to the car park and we went for some fish and chips in Kaikura and had a good time and a good chat and then I realized that it's really late and I still have to drive to Christchurch so Almost three hours later, I'm here now. It's around eight in the evening. 
and I just barely made it to the hostel because I didn't know that my debit card was declined so my booking was not successful and yeah I was really lucky that the staff was uh, still there they didn't go home so I was made to use my other card and now I have a room for tonight so I was very lucky but yeah tomorrow I have a very special trip ahead of me I'm going to see Edoras which is one of my favorite uh, locations for Lord of the Rings, the filming location. So I'm really excited about that, but yeah, I need to go to bed first. Like I'm super tired, so I'm going to see you tomorrow.